Hello everyone, I am Siddhartham. Currently in our machine learning course, we are discussing about probability for machine learning and in this video, let's discuss what is meant by probability distribution for a random variable. Okay, so this is the topic we have for today. And in case you are watching my videos for the first time, hi, in this YouTube channel, I'm making a hands on machine learning course with Python. And if you want to learn this course from the beginning, I'll give the link for my course playlist in the description of this video and you can check that out. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. So first of all, I'll give you a recap on random variables. So in the previous video, we have discussed in detail about uh, what is meant by a random variable with some examples. So I'll just give you a quick recap and then let's, uh, you know, discuss about probability distribution. So a random variable is a numerical description of the outcomes of random events. Okay. So there are several random events like tossing a coin or rolling a dice. And we deal with probability for those random events and random variable is something where we assign some numerical value to those random events. Okay. So in other words, you can say that a random variable maps the outcomes of random events to numerical values. So the thing about random variables is we need to assign some numerical value to the random events that can happen. Okay. So let's consider this with an example. Let's uh, say that we are tossing a coin. And uh, let's say that x is the random variable and we can say that x is equal to 1 or 0 and x is equal to 1 if uh, the coin lands on it. Okay, so if we get a yet then the random uh, variable value will be 1 and if we get tail then the random variable value will be 0. Okay, so here x is the random variable 1 and 0 are the possible numerical values that we can have and uh, head and tail are the random events that we are you know getting so you can have any values in this case so i have given one and zero and this is the general values that are taken for this particular coin toss example but you can take any values in this one okay so the thing which you need to note here is that we are having a random events and we are assigning some values to this uh, random events okay so this random variable is completely different from the algebraic variables that we would have you know learned so in algebra we may have some equations like uh, x square is equal to x plus 5 or something like that okay and uh, if you solve that particular equation you will get the value of x and that x value won't change for that particular equation but in the case of probability when we consider random variable the value of this random variable is completely dependent on these events and we know that uh, the events are random so the values will be random as well Okay, so that is the difference between an algebraic variable and a random variable in probability. Okay, so now let's discuss what is meant by this probability distribution when it comes to a random variable. So the probability distribution for a random variable describes how the probabilities are distributed over the values of the random variable. So this is the formal definition and this means that we have different values for a random variable for a particular event and we try to, you know, uh, find out the values are distributed for these random values. So this may be a bit, uh, you know, uh, confusing if you just watch this uh, definition alone. Let's try to understand this with an example. So let's say that we are tossing three coins in this case. So and uh, let's say that x is the random variable in this case and x is nothing but the sum of number of hits when three coins are tossed. Okay, so we are tossing three coins. And if we get one coin as heads and the remaining two coins as tail, then the random uh, you know variable value will be one. If we get two heads, then the random variable value will be two. And if we get three heads, the random variable value will be three. And if we get all the you know coins as tail, then the random variable value will be zero because this is the one we are considering where random variable is the sum of the number of heads when three coins are tossed. Okay. Now as I have told you before the value of a random variable changes depending on the outcome that you get okay so in this particular experiment tossing three coins experiment let's see what are the different possibilities we have what are the different possible outcomes that we have okay so we may get three hits when we toss three coins so in that case the random variable variable value would be three because uh, you know we are just adding the number of hits so when you get three hits the random variable value is three and uh, the other possibility is that you can get all the three coin as tails and in that case the random value will be zero because the number of hits is zero in this case and you may also get two hits where the value will become two and you may get uh, again two hits but uh, you know this one is hits, hits and tail and this one is hit tail and yet this is also two number of hits and we may also get one tail and two hits in a different you know order so this is also one possibility 
and the other possibility can be two tails and one head and it can be a uh, head tail and tail and um, this one is tail head and head so we are just adding the number of heads we are getting and this is nothing but our random variable so these are the different possible values that we can get for this random variable x okay so i hope you are clear uh, uh, you know up to this point so we are carrying out an experiment and this we are considering random variable as the sum of number of heads and these are the different values we are getting for uh, you know this particular experiment now we need to find how the values are distributed overall so these are the values of the random variable and now let's see what is the probability of these values so this is called as a probability distribution so we have all the uh, possibilities here and if we put this in a table so generally probability distribution will be represented in a table and uh, this is how we can represent this so x is nothing but the random variable which is the sum of the number of heads so you can get zero heads so zero heads means all the uh, you know points are tails so this particular outcome so all the points will be tails and uh, the you know one means there will be one head and two tails and two represent there will be two heads and uh, sorry this one so there will be two tails and one head and two heads means uh, these two so these three are the outcome where we will get two heads and uh, three heads is nothing but this one outcome okay so these are the different random variables and we have on these are the probability of the random variables so now the total number of outcomes we have is eight okay so you can see here so totally we have eight number of outcomes and if you want to find the probability for getting zero heads so there is only one probabilities there is only one chance right so when you get all the points uh, as tails this is the only one probability where you will get zero heads so it will be one divided by eight where one is the number of times you are getting in this particular experiment so only once we can get all the values as tails and divided by the total number of outcomes here the total number of outcomes is eight so it's one by eight and uh, if you consider getting only one eight so you can see here getting one head is there is three chances right so it can be tail tail heads or it can be head tails tails and it can be tail, head and tail. Okay, so these are the three possibilities. So the probability in this case will be 3 by 8. Where 3 is the number of times we can get only one head and 8 represents the total number of outcomes. And uh, again, we have uh, getting two heads. So these are the three possibilities. Head, head and tail. Head, tail and head. And tail, head and head. So these are the three possibilities where you will get two heads. And again, there are three chances out of eight. So it is 3 by 8. And finally, getting three heads. So there is only one possibility that is uh, getting all the three coins as heads. And out of these eight outcomes, in only one outcome, we can get all the coins as heads. So the probability is one by eight. Okay. So each value, so each value, one by eight, three by eight, three by eight, and one by eight. So each value represents a probability for getting zero. So the probability of getting a zero is one by eight, and probability for getting uh, one. Uh, one head is three by eight and probability of getting two heads is three by eight and probability of getting three heads is also one by eight okay so this is the probability we are getting and if you just consider this in a decimal value so we can get that one by eight is nothing but 0 0.125 and three by eight is 0 0.375 so they are all similar okay so we know that the probability value ranges from zero to one so it cannot go uh, go beyond uh, zero so it cannot go to negative values and the probability values cannot be greater than one okay so these are the values that we get so this is how the probability is distributed so you can also you know consider the percentage of this particular uh, thing so what is the percentage of one in eight or three by eight so this is how we find the probability distribution for a random variable where uh, we have in this case there is another thing we can note that the probability of getting three eights and the probability of getting zero eights is the, is the same where it is one by uh, eight which is one in eight chance so the probability of getting uh, zero eights and three eights is same and also the probability of getting one eight and two eight is also same which is three by eight so this is another thing which we need to note so this is all about probability distribution and we may also call this as a discrete probability distribution okay so discrete means something that is uh, you know distinct something that for which the value is fixed in this case the values are fixed as either head or tail so there is nothing you know in between head and tail so you cannot get uh, both head and tail you cannot get half head and half, half tail right so these values are discrete because they are fixed there is no continuous values so 
these values are discrete and we can call this distribution as discrete probability distribution okay so this is all about random variables and uh, probability distribution of random variables and this is also another main important thing which we need to be aware of in probability okay so i hope you have understood all the things covered in this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching